Hello, hello, and welcome back to more Hero Infinite with Vickus. Vickus. Vickus, please don't do oh, this bit. Everyone does this bit. Oh, hello? Hello. Hello. I knew that was my cue. We just like to do a little trolling over here. Uh, everyone does that bit so often, and it, it stresses me out, because I worry that there's technical <laughs> difficulties. Um, but yee. Yee, so we got more in Hero Infinite once again with Vickus and his character. I just knocked down a thing. Vickus and his new character, Agent Flux. I, c I could knock something down to make you feel less embarrassed if you'd like. Oh, no, it it's... See, it's just because I've got my new PC set up now. This is the first official recording and stream of that. Uh, but now I low-key have a tangle of wires that I gotta fix because when I was setting things up, I wasn't paying enough attention to how and where I was plugging things in. My man. So now I can knock things over by mistake if I'm not careful. <laughs> I just saw some cable management. Professional. No, no. Listen, I'm professional. But anyway. Okay. <laughs> uh, so yeah. Agent Flux, the World War I soldier pulled out of time after a mysterious gas turned him into a mysterious gas, but a mysterious gas that can think. All hail the glow cloud. Uh, so, as we open up, uh, the, yeah, let's just jump right into it because I spent way too many of these sessions meandering for 15 minutes at the start. <laughs> okay. Uh, as we open up, it is the year 2022, the OSP headquarters in France. Agent Flux, who has been with the organization since the mid-70s, is within his, uh, you know, his room, like within his quarters, which, do you have an idea of what you would want your quarters to look like? Do you want, like, you, that you want to describe, or do you want to just move past that? You know, I'm fine without it. Okay. It's just generic stuff, you know? No, nothing, like, special, special or interesting to the character? Maybe... Maybe some pogs, because I thought they were pretty cool. <laughs> I'm just imagining, that, like, really. an SCP-style D-class containment personnel cell with just pogs on the floor. Exactly. It's everything, except I have some pogs. It's completely empty, nothing wrong, just pog. I think you know why. Because <laughs> we're in Twitch, and uh, the funny word! Oh. Anyway, uh, fun fact, the guy who was the original Pog Champ meme hates that, that, hates that he became a meme. Anyway. Uh, so, you know. Oh god, DM anxiety setting in. <laughs> we are in, our agent flux is within his, like, you know, his quarters, you know, the camera, like, panning through it, uh, I guess apparently his Pog collection <laughs> in Death the Gelts, before settling on to the side of the room of the... Uh, would you say you, uh, in your casual life, are you in gaseous form, or are you wearing your uniform, usually? Um, personally, I would be doing, like, like you said, in my casual life, I'll, I'll just be in... I'll just be in gaseous form, you know? Doing so, whatever. It's just a room with, like, a few, like, you know, maybe TV, computer, whatever things he has, and there's just a, a vague, like, gross, like, slightly discolored air to the room where things are floating around in it. I like to think when I'm just chilling out, doing whatever. Just, you know, chewing the fat, doing, doing what I do. Just there being a thick mist. It's like... Oh, do people breathe you in when they enter your room? Oh, hey, that's in here. Room. It's like, that's me. Exhale, please. Ah, oh, my kidney! <laughs> you see, smoking's bad for your health. Just like how I am. <laughs> God. That's gonna be a good comment for if you're ever, like, suffocating a villain or something. Hey. But anyway. You know it. Uh. Uh. As you, hang on, just moving a few things around on my desktop real fast so I can see certain things better.
Okay. Uh, I can use war. Sorry, again, DMX. You're like in your room doing whatever it is that you do. Um, and the fucking uh words that exist within my mouth. This is this is why all these start so terribly. You're in your room doing oh, the, the thing that you do, like, just, like, chilling out, having fun, I don't know, just casual life stuff, when mm -hmm. a little, like, uh, so, you know, the, the buzzer of you have a mission goes off at the side of the room, uh, you know, like, they want you to report to a possible mission. Try. Ignore. You just, you just ignore it? Initially, but I'm thinking, what was that supposed to be for? <laughs> then I'm going to just hop out, finally remembering. Like, start to th th flow out through like the crevices in the wall and flo float down the halls. Uh, where eventually. Me. Excuse me. Passing through. Imagine, ooh, eventually, you arrive to like, you know, the briefing room. Where it's currently your good old friend Arthur, uh, who did I ever write? Did we ever come up with an agent official agent's name for him? That we did not. Okay, Agent White. He's he's Agent White. Yeah, because I was looking at my notes, I'm like, I don't have that in the notes. Uh, and and your, just hmm? my my big man Arthur. He. And Agent White is there along with Commander Mills. Agent White. Uh, he, you know, he looks like he's, like, pro- like, even though you know he's been alive since World War One, he looks like he's just a dude in sort of, like, his, like, late 50s approaching 60. Uh, mm -hmm. meanwhile, Commander Mill- Miller, uh, she is, like, you know, very visibly old. Like, an older woman, she- but she's still, like, well-dressed and standing, she looks over, she's like- Good of you to join us, Flood. Uh, uh, hang on, what's your character's actual name? Charles McMillan, at Charles your service. Is she? Hmm. Good of, of you to join us, Charles. It's nice to be here. <laughs> oh. To make it. Hmm. Well, we've had a occurrence, occur uh, an occurrence. Oh, little. Little. I can use words. Uh, hang on, hang on. Sorry, I just realized I didn't have a uh, piece of my notes open. It's all good. Man. DM anxiety is the worst. We have an we had an incident the other day or the other day. What's all that? What will that mean? And what you... may that? Be? Or, I can use words. There were sight sightings of something within Russia, and she, uh, clicks on a um, like over like overhead projection view, and you can see, uh, like satellite images of what looks like a like knocked over Tesla tower, like a massive one, and like rubble of a like rubble from explosions and stuff. And Arthur sits forward. He's like. Hang on. I recognize that place. That's from. That's right. Your two. Or the two of you's first mission together. In Russia. From 77. Ooh. Fun. It seems as though. Some. Or, or, according to our readings. The unusual amount of static electricity has been gathering within the area. You don't think it could be... Quite possibly. I'm gonna need, all, need the two of you to suit up and get over there, since you're the only ones with experience with the situation that occurred there all those years ago. Oh, what? No fire team? You don't have a fire team to send in to clean up the situation? This isn't some mad, some mad scientist trying to Frankenstein together a, a creature or a doomsday weapon. This, uh, 
this is a delicate situation. We don't know if it or if it's what you dealt with previously. Right, right. Well, you ready to get going then, Charles? Uh, I suppose so, though. I never get sent to the fun ones. I'll be sure to keep an eye out for a, for any evil scientist throw, throwing an ice cream social. It's been a while since. Yeah, you're cutting in and out there. Ooh, it's... Yeah. Ooh, now that'll be a fun one. It's been a while since I had some. Well, as you can see. And with that, the two of you go and start, you know, suiting up as you float into your uh, uh, costume, which, you know, the old, the one that we had seen previously was sort of like browns and blacks and like, om like almost like makeshift, like not makeshifted, but like rough around the edges, while this new one is much more uh, sleek with browns and greens in its color scheme. Or is it red and green? Was it red and green or brown and green that you wanted? Brown, brown and green? Yes. Yeah. Uh, hang on. Now i got to turn you back up again. Ooh. Okay. It's like a brown and green color scheme, primarily. Wait, like... Yeah. Gas, uh, a gas mask on the face, primarily brown with green accenting around it, like... Almost sort of like tracing out the joints, if you get what I mean. I do. Uh, and Arthur, meanwhile, is getting on, you know, sort of his uh, old sort of semi-militaristic garb. Getting uh, like all like, or getting on his big ass back, like camper style backpack full of shit and filling all of his pouches with like, you know, Swiss Army knives or... To, or Utensils, rocks, laser pointers, party poppers, just the weirdest collection of objects. Funny having to soup su up to go back there again. It's almost like our first mission all over again, huh? It is quite old, but I'm not complaining. Familiar stomping grounds add to the... Seek. Fun. Uh... Makes the job easy, I suppose. Words are... Escape. Well, let's get going, huh? And he makes his... Starts walking over to the... Uh... The VTOL off to the side. You know, vertical takeoff landing. Like, basically, like... Jet slash helicopter type thing. Uh, mm -hmm. like, cutting edge flying technology. He's making his way over to it and you follow behind and... Has like the two of you pass by the camera, it's suddenly the two of you walking over to a helicopter, you in your older uniform, as time sa the timestamp appears, 1977, OSP headquarters, Paris, France. And the two of you get inside of the helicopter, and it starts taking off. Hmm. Uh, and as you do, Arthur turns over to the guy flying the hel- or- or he turns off to the side, like, holding up, like, the rough walkie-talkie as, and he's like, So, what do we know about this tower, this tower you've seen in Russia? We believe it ties back to the organization, or the organization, uh, behind, or, ugh. We believe that, uh, it may be more of the handiwork of the former Nazi scientists. For, uh, from, God, I can speak. Words, she tells seashells down by the seashore. We believe that ties back to the former Nazi scientist that escaped Project Sphinx. Uh, that's the project that had created uh, created me and inadvertently Char uh, Charles here, right? The very I same. Wave. What? I I do a small wave yeah. as he says that. The very same. The, uh, the, or, bleh, I can use words. We've done some back checking. We believe it's a, a scientist by the name of Alfred, or of Alfred Hans. One of the ones that had, had been taken by the USSR during the aftermath of World War II. 
Mm, I see. We had spoken with him to get an un or in order to have an understanding of what the limits of science should be going forward in order to prevent the possibility of catastrophic events. But it seems as though he wasn't quite listening. We've detected high amounts of electromagnetic electricity, and we're using the uh, or using our radiation sensors. We've detected a unusual for, uh, form of radiation emitting. We've given it the pre preliminary name of Omega class radiation. It's unusual, whereas most radiation Europe pushes at. Er, or we've been attempting some light study of it ourselves ever since we had gotten some sample or samples of material tainted with it from the uh, from the labs and or the the labs that we raided after World War II. Rather than rele uh, releasing ion or ionizing energy, it seems to take it in. We're unsure how exactly it works or how the scientists had created it. But we believe that Hans may know may know how, judging by our readings. Hang on, with the radiation sensing you de sensor, you detected something that prevents radiation. I don't understand. There's a blanket radiation that exists across across the planet, caused by things such as solar fields and leftovers to leftover or leftover ambient radiation from nuclear test sites. But around the facility is a complete black zone. Not just or not just bad radiation being gone, but all of it. And it, uh, the center point of it seems to be the Tesla Tower from the images you were shown. Arthur nods a little bit. I believe I'd fall in. He scratches his head for a moment. <laughs> hmm. In deep thought. Your goal will be simple. To get in there and find it, find any proof of an you of it. Unethical testing going on, and if possible, or if necessary, prevent it. Uh, in the or, I recommend you open up the suitcase that we had given you to take along, and Arthur sits down and opens it up, and you see, it, it's sort of like a doctor's bag kind of suitcase, and inside you see a computer screen and a keyboard. Ah, oh, a portable computer, fancy, fancy. Right. Nothing much like it. Inside is some records on the types of, te of technology you're going to need to be keeping an eye out. See, af after the events of the war, the, uh... Was it the Allies? In, was Russia part of the Allies in World War II, or was they, like, a separate group? They were part of the Allies, right? Yeah, they were. Yeah. After the, after the war and after seeing the experiments that were being done, the Allies got together and created this um, created this bill, which is what led to our cre the creation of our organization, as well as or as well as listing out everything that should be or everything that would be outlawed for research. I had attempted to get the get the study of nuclear bombs to be added to the list. But the Americans were insistent on its importance. So sadly, we can't do anything to prevent all the nukes building up. But with any luck, we can stop more dangerous weapons from being made. And, uh, Arthur starts typing and you, like, uh, like, uh, like, it's like text files and information going by and Arthur's like, huh? There's an awful lot here marked as unethical and unallowed. What exactly are we supposed to be looking for from this list? I recommend you go underneath the the categories of electric uh, the category of electricity and, te and Tesla coil technology. I believe that that may be what they're researching, given the images we uh, we are able to gather. And he goes through, and you see like images and footage of experiments being done by Nazi scientists. The mm -hmm. Nazi scientists all having, uh. 
the like they have a patch that looks similar to the fucking you know the symbol that you would see in the skull with the snake around the snakes around it <laughs> um and the like you see them like basically like having people like holding tesla like big ass tesla coils like staffs and like trying to direct electricity around and you know dying in the attempts of the experiments pictures of different things like you know tanks with tesla coils on them uh jet engine or jets with a tesla coil on the tip of it and things like that yeah. um and uh, like all, all many of the projects are marked as failures for various reasons but then you see uh the very last file one that was marked off from pretty much right at the end of world war ii show is the one that's labeled as a success and you see it's like a big ass tesla coil like the size of a radio tower and there's a bunch of people standing around it like holding smaller tesla coils his electricity's arcing down from the like the big one to the little one and then lightning strikes down and electricity flashes through everything and everything like uh like there's a flash of light in the footage and then all of the people are gone ma'am thank you ma'am go what Some what were they with oh, sorry what were you gonna say something to do with that technology not sure what exactly were they trying to do well, arthur starts like typing through it looking at it uh -uh. it looks like early experiments or attempts to weaponize storm weather draw storm clouds around using jets and then direct electricity from them down into weapons. But when that didn't work, they found something else, but a lot of this information is... There's just nothing. Apparently the Nazis were so afraid of whatever they of us using whatever they made that they burned most of their records. There's one mention here, though. Uh, hold on. It's, uh, or there is one thing written here just says, or it says that in a number of the articles, one word was able to be found. Zeus. Maybe it was a project name? And he sort of, like, looks to you. Well, obviously it has to be that, to be such. It's not like they're summoning the ma man himself. Or oh. at least I'm thinking not. I think we'd know, know if gods actually existed. What one oh. might think. So either what we're about to go into is either an attempt to control the weather or something worse, I guess. Um. But yeah, so... You like your helicopter flies along for a while and like has like the helicopter flies by or you see like we get a wide shot of the facility are approaching and as the helicopter flies by we suddenly see the seeing the ruins of the you know collapsed dilapidated building and once again we're in 2022 as your VTOL starts to land down and or it's a or yeah 2022 far, uh, far north Siberia and you land down and you know the like start to step out of the helicopter and you know, it's like the collapsed tesla tower is like the size of or would have been the size of the statue of liberty should if it had still been standing all that's left is the large coil the large coil now mostly rusted and collapsed apart uh arthur sort of stepping out of the vtol with you and the guy who's in it like taking off or, or you're taking off, he's like, hmm. I've been told to retreat to a safe distance away. Just radio when you need me to come and pick you up. Of course, of course. Wouldn't want anything happening to our ride. I'm just happening to us. Arthur sort of like rolls his eyes as he walks, starts to walk towards the rubble and looks to you. You coming, Arthur? Are you coming, oh, Charles? Best seats in there. Um, yes, coming. Sorry, what was it you said? Thought by now they would have invested better seats. 
get a hero point for that one. Hmm. Uh, well, sadly, all the funding goes to observation equipments nowadays. Like electromagnetic disper- er, er, electromagnetic- net, bleh, Electromagnetic abnormality sensors. <laughs> you really think there, that sad. anything could still be here? Who knows? There might be something, but I think that there's just going to be a whole nothing. I really hope we don't see. Uh, I really hope we don't have to deal with the same stuff we dealt with back uh, back when we came here last time. I like that. Such powerhouses such as the Soviet Union are gone now, so. Perhaps we'll have an easier job. Implying the people in charge of Russia right now are much better, and he take, takes the binoculars and starts to look around you know, at the horizon. Hmm. You. Seem like there's been any movement. Snow still piled up around here, no tracks in it. Hey, look. The tree by the hill, by that hill when we arrived last time is still here, and he sort of starts to pass you the binoculars, and he's like, Can you even use these? I think I might. Thank you very much. Which, you can in fact still see through, the, like, use binoculars like anyone else. Kind of lean in, as if I'm squinting. <laughs> you. Why am I doing this? I do hmm? don't have eyeballs, quick. Never mind. No. I'm just looking. As you look through, you see an old dead tree, like dead pine tree, burnt up and or burnt, or like horribly burnt to the point where it's basically just a large stick of charcoal. And as you're looking at it, we crossfade to northern Siberia, 1977, where a large living pine tree stands there. You and Arthur stepping up over the horizon, like walking through the snow, him walking through in snowshoes. You just picking up your entire suit and floating it over the snow inside of your fog cloud. You don't, you think they could have dropped us off a little bit closer with how cold it is out here. He breathes, he sort of like holds his mittens to his face and breathes a little bit to warm his cheeks. Or at least provided us with warmer equipment. Oh, he's quite cold. Brings a shiver to my spine. Or lack thereof. You can actually feel cold out here? Of course. It's not like, well... Sorry, what did you say? Of course. Yeah. It's not like... Doing not like that thing where... Uh, <laughs> keep doing that thing where both of us pause, wait for the other talk, and one talks, we both talk at the same time. Uh, Sorry. Okay. Go ahead. Of course. Not like time stops for me. Hmm. Downsides. But as you look over, you see all, you know, Empire St or Statue of Liberty height Tesla coil with a big old storm circling over it, and below it is a concrete bunker. Guess that's the place they want us to investigate. Hmm. You start. That's... You start. We're gonna say that it is. He takes off his bag and starts digging through. Actually, you could probably scope out the place pretty well without them even knowing, huh? Why not give it a like shot? Can you hear people in the background, by the way? No. Okay, it's not to be sure it wasn't getting picked up. Uh, but yeah, he asks if you want to go scope out the area. Why not? Seems like a good test. Uh, what color do you think your cloud is? By the um, way, I don't think we ever talked at length about that. I'm thinking about, like, a... I'm thinking about, like, a whitish cloud, if not a palish gray. Sort of like, uh, like a cloud of, like when you have like a bellowing cloud of steam, that kind of shade. 
Yeah. All right. Uh. So you like you basically just start floating across the like do you set down your suit and leave it behind essentially with Arthur mm -hmm. or Agent White. You float across the Siberian snow like towards it and like. As you're floating, you start to realize, like, there's little lumps in the snow around. Might. What'd you say? Now, what might that be? Do you want to uncover them? I'm going to look into it, yes. You sort of, like, use your wind powers to blow the snow off. And what you realize is there's landmines scattered about. Luckily, you I'm going fly. To, I'm going to slowly look over to Arthur. Can he hear me, like, at this rate? Mm, if, if you shouted for him, he could, but that would also mean shouting across the, the snow. He seems yeah, to just that'd... be sitting waiting for you to scope out the place, though. I'm just going to um, point at the ground. <laughs> like, form a giant, like, finger. Yeah. Basically. Okay, and he's sort of like looking like hmm. And just... Wait a second. Hmm. How can I convey this? I'm just going to put an X. There we go. That makes sense. <laughs> Get a hero point. Uh, so... You know, after that, I assume you continue going forward, right? I will. So, you continue toward the base, and you soon arrive to find an electric fence at its entrance. Something which you can very easily just, you know, float over. You float over the electricity and the barbs, and they drift down over, like, the, like, toward the ground, like... So... As you approach, like, as you drift over the fence, there's now guard, you know, guards holding sol- er, ugh. Soldiers walking around holding, like, guns all dressed in, like, really warm equipment guarding the base, but... To them, you currently just look like a cloud of, like, steam that blew across the tundra. Uh, entering the base, you could begin to look a little suspicious, so, um... So you'll have to come with a plan of action for that, but... The building itself is large and mostly rectangular. You can see at least w one front entrance, no windows, uh, a and a ventilation thing in the top of the building. The Tesla coil area has another own, like its own little fencing around the base. A large number of what look basically like lightning rods to divert electricity away from hitting anything important. And a number of scientists walking around underneath, like, you know, a, a couple of them, like, basically like, doing maintenance on the bottom of the tower, it seems. The whole building is fairly large, roughly what you would think of when you think of the size of, like, a middle school. It's, like, a big, it's a big building. Yeah. One story, but big. Mm-hmm. So what, what's your what's your plan of action? Do you want to? What, what do you think you're gonna do? So, Sorry, how was... far can I spread myself out? Um, pretty far, I'd say. But the further you spread your body out, the more at risk you are of you know small breezes negatively affecting you. I think that for me, I'm going to. I'm going to do a funny. Oh. Let's, uh. I'm going to, like. Where's the closest soldier to? Uh, not too far away. Like, like you could go and get to a soldier without much effort. I'm going to kind of like 
go like i'm imagining just like because of how like warm weather gear or cold weather gear works i'm just going to like go around the parts that are uncovered and like the different parts of it like i don't know how to describe it like the different crevices that he has mm -hmm. like that are exposed to elements i'm trying to like slip but... into his clothing yes hot you know it he's warm so Come Time on. to roll for Dixon. I'm kidding. <laughs> so, like, you start to, like, you basically envelop this dude. Uh, and to him, it just feels like a particular, like, pickup in the wind. Like, strong pickup in wind. So, what are you, what are you gonna do? So, I'm going to... I'm going to go around and actually, like, just wait a moment. Because this fella, if I notice anything, he might either be doing, like, guard duty or whatever, or he's just, or, like, sentry thing, or he's going to move. And sooner or later, that's going to happen. So you're waiting for him to move? Yes. Okay, what do you do when he starts to move? I... I... I kind of like stay there. I'd stay where I can. Like basically follow him. Oh, are you trying to like to hide in the man's clothing? Or something? I'm hiding around and possibly in, but mostly okay. around. So you're just floating as a fog around this dude. He's a, just a very warm man. Okay. Like how his breath has that around him. So. Stinky. You're making him look like a stinky boy. Indeed. He's... Man needs to take a shower. <laughs> so yeah, you... It's, it's warm in, the, in those suits. You're mm. sweating. Alright. So yeah, you <laughs> just sort of float around the dude. <laughs> like... So, that's just such like a... a weird thing in my head it is a weird thing it's a weird thing in my head so you, you just start floating around him and like he'd find it like he'd start to realize like the weird fo I, i'm gonna do a check uh Go basically a stealth check at two degrees of advantage for you do you have anything to boost stealth i don't believe do, oh unless... god, you know what? Never mind. He rolled a he rolled a negative number. Nice. So he, he he's just completely oblivious to the fog that's following around him. So your is your plan to like stick with him till like uh, he goes inside or something? Yes. Okay. So eventually he like, you know, he gets, or another guy comes over to relieve him. I'm gonna do another skill check with you having two degrees of advantage. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, but yeah, so do you have anything that would boost stealth? I don't believe I do. Unless soldier training works, but I don't think so. In so this situation, at least. A difference of three to seven, you are easily able to fucking just avoid being seen and just look like sort of off-colored air. Oh, uh, yeah. The fucking, another guard comes and relieves him so that he can, ha like, stop having an outside shift, and, you know, he makes his way into the building. So, do you, like, you follow him in? Yes, I would follow him in. And do you, like, stick close to him, to close to the floor, close to the ceiling? Once that, once that happens, I'd, like, go near, like, the, and, like, go between them. Go near the what? Like, the vents, if there are one. Okay, so you're gonna slip into the ventilation system. Indeed. That's right, you could have totally just floated in through the ventilation shaft in the roof that I mentioned. But that wouldn't be as cool. <laughs> Get a hero point. Or uh, 
So you start like fl you know floating through the vents, trying to feel out what's going on like throughout the facility. Uh, and you know they're all speak obviously speaking Russian, but we're gonna say you can speak Russian for because you would have been trained in that if they needed you to come here. In culture and espionage stuff, yeah. hand waving. Yeah. So as you float around, you know, it seems like like there's not a huge amount of staff here. Uh, but there's enough to maintain the base and keep it secure, and a fairly good, sizable number of scientists. And soon you come to a what is very clearly sort of a control room where they have like camera footage that they're using to look outside at what's happening outside, and they've got uh like all sorts of like in like like basically weather sensors and stuff. Hmm. <laughs> uh. uh the uh, and like there's one man who's speaking who has a distinct German accent amongst all of these Russians. And he comes and he's like How is this coil doing? Any improvements on its ability to draw in the energy? It is improving Ger or we, the suggestions you've made have uh, the suggestions you made have paid off significantly. It seems as though it's, uh, we're drawing in more and more storms every day. Keep at it. Hmm. Eventually we have to pull the w pull what we're looking for here. They also like, are just like looking at the monitors and the sensors. Let's see. Can f oh, there. We could find some more information. I'm going to like... Try and see, like, try and see if I could see any of the, um, anything he's, eh, anything the people are... Like, look at in. the sensors? Yeah. Alright, I'm going to do a, a basic, like, understanding of scientific stuff check. To see how much of this you can understand. Oh. You don't have any skills, or are you going to spend any hero points? Nah. Alright, four successes. You can get a rough idea of, like, the it's like atmospheric pressure and electricity sensing, so, you know, it's all, you know, fucking... But, like, it's... basically, like, measuring, like, the electricity in the air and weather and all of that. Yeah. But there's also, like, power output sensors and all of that, and, like... Things like that, almost as if, like, how do I put this? You get vibes that they're trying to understand all, all of the weather patterns going on within the area around them and measure any minute change in weather or electricity or anything like that. And that's to do with the um, Tesla coil outside, I'm assuming. Uh, some of the power seems to be going towards the Tesla ca coil. Uh, they're, like, measuring to make sure it doesn't overload itself and things like that. Though, that being said, it doesn't actually seem to be powered up currently. Uh, but there is, in fact, still storms and shit circling overhead. Hmm. Smile uh, mischievously. But you can tell the storm is, like, slowly dispersing according to all of their sensors. My, my, my. Oh, fatal you have made. And are they distracted with anything over right now? Uh, they're all, like, focusing on various tasks. Is there something, like, let's say, a big lever or dial to turn on or increase power for the, the Tesla coil? Yes, uh, but this will not come with, uh, you're going to try and sneak down and turn it on, essentially, right? I'm going to do a funny thing. Mm-hmm. Which is? I'm going to move down, or move down to be, like, in the area near the hallway, right? Mm-hmm. And I'm going to start banging. So you're gonna just like, like, hmm. You can't exactly bang on a door, though. 
You can rattle it. On the door. I'm banging in the ventilation system outside. Oh. Wait, outside or the ventilation, like, outside the in lab? The like, in the hallway outside the lab. Okay. So start rattling because the vents. This things are creaky. Yeah. Which, of course, would, like, get some, like, some attention of guards and such. And do you know what I'm going to do? What? I'm going to sing a song. Oh? Okay. Now, for a good fella for you to know, this is a Russian war song. Oh, you're going to sing a Russian war song? Yes. Hell yeah. And then just going to continue singing it like, come on, work, work, please work. Yeah. Please think that there's just some rowdy boys out here. I haven't gotten that far, so I don't know the songs. I don't know any get, modern songs in Russian. Please get some hero. Po get get four hero points for fucking singing a Russian war song. Um, and like you know, you hear the science it's like, oh, what the hell? What's going on out there? Send someone to to investigate. You know, everyone's like looking over, confused, and some guards start guiding in the hall around her, and like they realize it's coming from the vent, and they're just like, what the fuck? Uh, and they start getting, like, so, you know, they start, like, they're scrambling to try and get someone to go and look in the vent. This is planned. Mm hmm So. While well, some distracted. Mm hmm. What can I do? Funny thing to do. I think I'm going to go back to the lab if I can and turn on that switch. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to say that that's going to be a stealth check. You get no advantages. They're going to get one advantage die. I was going to give them more, but I'm going to say what you did removed one of their advantage dice. Fair enough. Uh, let me know if you want to spend any hero points, as always. And... You know what? Hmm? Nah, I think I'm good. So, with a difference of zero to three successes, you float down into the room and, like, start to activate the switch, and they notice you. They realize a big old cloud of smoke has floated in the room and that their equipment is, like, malfunctioning, which elicits a minor panic of what the fuck's going on. You know, they're, like, they basically are, like, now, like, we need to go into, like, something's up, we need to go into lockdown. As you start to turn up the Tesla coil, and you can see on the footage, like, the scientists who are outside, like, so, like, what, like, doing maintenance and looking at the equipment, start to get, like, shocked and fall back, like, getting electrocuted. And the Tesla coil turns on, and you just, like, cr lightning starts crackling across the sky. Uh, are you gonna, Ooh. like, crank it up all the way, or partially, or...? I'm going to crank it up all the way. Okay! Do you uh, know what I'm going to say, though? What? Seeing that I... Knowing that I've been made, I'm going to be like, uh, uh... Ya prizak proflogo, vestia. Um... Doing my best to remember Russian, because I don't know it. What are you saying in Russian? Please don't be I'm racial slurs. Christmas past. What? I am the ghost of Christmas past. Oh my fucking god! <laughs> okay. I give you a hero point for the joke alone, but for saying it in Russian, I'm gonna give you three total. One for the hero <laughs> point, two for the Russian. Thank you. <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. Uh, so yeah, immediate panic starts to go, and all, like, the warning stuff starts to, like, go off. And one of the scientists starts to, like, you know, go for, like, emergency shutdown stuff. But, uh... Hans calls out like, "No!" Oh, and then like they look over like, "Let's just run!" And they're all just like, "What the fuck is he on about?" Kind of thing, but no one stops it. And the scientist starts to, like step forward, and he's sort of like half looking at the camera, half looking at you, and he's like, 
Who are you? Again, all of this is in Russian, but I don't speak Russian. I'm gonna think, crap, I don't know German. What in the... <laughs> um, I'm... Is the ghost of Christmas past? Is that a good German accent? Can hear him for Hmm. He sort of like squint, like it like seems like almost to be like a, like a look of like hmm. And he's like, I suppose it's no surprise. I'm guessing you're a er, I can't do accents good. I'm guessing you're. I, I'm just gonna talk without an accent. This is, he's, ger, insert German accent. I'm guessing you're American then. Willing to bet uh, that some of the oh, some of my old allies went to work for them then. Very well. And he uh, fucking words, words, words. Uh, he's like very well. <laughs> Come to sabotage my or, or, or sabotage my equipment. I, I see then. And you see, like, the storm in the footage of the ca Like, it's a camera looking up at the Tesla coil. It's just growing, hard, like, stronger and stronger. And the Tesla coil's endlessly crackling lightning, like, straight out across the sky. It's not arcing down anymore at this point. On the outside, Arthur's, like, looking with his binoculars and just like, what did he do? Kind of look. Has lightning strikes the tree right next to him, setting it aflame and, like, you know, horribly singeing it. It's like striking spots on the ground, melting snow. One of them hits the landmine. Uh, one of the landmines, like a bunch of landmines start getting struck and blown up. Guards outside freaking out. Hmm. I um, was at the make and break of this uh, operation anyway. But, uh, let's see if I've succeeded or if this is when the Americans take me in. And he just, and like, he goes to the side and he fucking, like, hits a button and you see the top of the Tesla coil almost, like, open up a little bit and start to spin. Hmm. Oh. Um, I am with the Americans and I would very much like to know what you're doing here, please, so I don't kill everyone outside. Calling upon a god. And with that outside... The lightning arcs down and starts striking a bunch of people and just va vaporizing them. And it starts striking the top of the- like, bur like, basically exploding the lightning coils and striking the building and, like... So, like, like, hit- striking the building hard, but, the like, nothing's damaging the building yet. And then on the footage you see a massive, like, blue light- like, a thick lightning bolt fly towards the Tesla coil and hit it. And then the Tesla coil just like, like fall over and has, falls out of frame. You feel the shake as the coil hits the ground. Hmm. And all of the sensors are going fucking wild before they all start to go out and then black out. I believe it was a success, gentlemen. Go and claim your prize. And all of the scientists are like, oh, like looking like, oh shit, kind of look. And he just starts chuckling. Uh, so what do you do in response? I audibly cough out of out of habit. <laughs> <clears throat> yes, so the uh, so you'll pay us test uh very good. Uh, good work, you will get raise, yeah. She's gonna and hear on point, and you just float out? Yes. I mean, what are they gonna do to stop you? You're a cloud of gas. Uh, as you start to float out, fucking, the, um, and, like, you float back out, and you can see, like, just sit, like guns lying on the ground, like ru like everything destroyed and fucked up, and from the tip of the destroyed Tesla co coil, you start to see some movement. Hmm. Has bloody unstable, ain't it? 
What? Bloody unstable, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. you look over and you see Arthur is like sprinted across the field towards where you are and is like at the edge of the fence. And he looks over and he's like, hey, what the hell happened? What the hell just happened, Flux? I did it, Arthur. I stopped the experiment. Mm -hmm. And then you see, uh, are you here? I'm, I'm alive. And you look over and you see a buff, naked Aryan man standing up in the Tesla coil, like around the tip of the Tesla coil, and like climbing atop it. I'm alive. He always there. And you see, embedded in his chest, or, or like, yeah, embedded in his chest is a large black stone. And he. Looks around, he looks over. Who are you? Where am I? I am with the Germans. <laughs> hmm. I'm gonna roll a bl uh, you, you don't have any charm or charisma stuff, right? No, I do not. I'm gonna see if he believes you. I mean, you rolled pretty good, and he rolled pretty bad. A difference of four to none, he looks over and he's like, uh, What happened? Was the opera was the experiment a success? Why is it- Why is it snowing now? He starts to, uh, like, like, climb out and, like, walk- uh, like, look around. This doesn't feel right. Well, of course you are right. You are a experiment. Yeah. Experiment. I. Yes, I know I'm. He. I fallen. He's like looking confused. He looks over. He's like, "Where are you? Where was that coming from?" And he's like looking over at Arthur. It's like, "You aren't talking. Who was that?" Uh, Me, your is. <laughs> well, I'm gonna re-roll for that one, but you're rolling with dis <laughs> two degrees of disadvantage on that one. It's <laughs> Get a hero point, though. Here. What? Inner voice. Your inner voice. So you're doing this roll to disadvantage. Oh yeah. <laughs> um. So, you got a total of zero successes, and he got a total of one success. So, he looks, yeah. I don't find this funny. And he, like, clenches his fist, and you start to see his veins glowing blue. And he... I don't need to get so angry about it. Your gullibility is quite humorous, if I'm being quite honest. He looks at his hands and realizes the glowing is like, oh. And he shoots lightning off in, uh, out of his hand towards the wall, and like, it jumps across the electric fence as he fires it off to the side. The, uh, the, uh, the, mission, were, uh, the mission was a success. <laughs> I, I am a god! And lightning starts firing out of him in all directions, and... Uh, uh, immediately fucking Arthur jumps back, he's like, oh, 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 like, digs through his bag, and pulls out a collapsible, like, ham radio, and rips the antenna off of it, and, like, hold, like, throws the wire on the ground, stepping on the wire with his foot as he holds the antenna out, and the electricity catches the antenna instead of striking him. Oh, oh, that was close. The man, like, looks at himself, and he starts, like, electrocuting his own chest, and basically tattoos himself with the Greek lettering for Zeus. Oh, bugger me, why did I have to be right? I would say, told you so, but now we have this man to deal with. Hmm. Oh. Did they make it? Or, or, I don't understand. Did they just make this man? Boom. Well, either way, we... We should do something about him right away. Uh, he, Arthur started digging through his bag. He's like, uh, and he, now, tell me, 
Where, who are you? Where are you speaking from? And he starts, like, he basically like, propels himself in the air with the electricity flying. Well, moments, we're trying to kill you. And uh, he looks around and he, like, basically using his ears tracks you to, you know, the cloud of gas. You. You're on other experiments like me, aren't you? And he starts flying down towards you, and as he does, the rock in his, the black rock in his chest starts to get a faint purpley glow, and you feel yourself condensing together. Like, the, your dispersed cloud starts being forced to be packed together, until he is... A few, like, as he gets closer, you're getting more and more packed together. Uh, how are you going to respond to that? What I'm going to do is... One, look at my hands and think, Now this is quite interesting. And secondly, we're in the Siberian tundra. Mm -hmm. Which part, may I ask? Uh, which part? Uh, like, mm -hmm. Northern Siberian Tundra, uh, not specific. Why? Mm. Undisclosed North Siberian Tundra. Why is that? Why are they pink and purple? What? What? Hold on. Oh, hang on. Sorry, the hotbar is not displaying properly on the stream for some reason. Oh, it's okay. There we go, now it's displaying properly. Okay. You know what? No. Sorry about that I'm one. Just, I was just, I was just wondering for a moment because I thought it'd be funny. Come but on. No. Sorry. Dream. UI. There we go. I fixed it now. <clears throat> what are you, what, what, uh, so what's your plan? Like, are you good? We now are officially initiating combat. Has he? floats near you, uh, you have a reaction, because that's, like, the initiating round of the combat, so I'm gonna say you just have a reaction right now. Question. Are there, like, you know how the people were zapped? Is yes. it only the guns there, or is it also the clothes? Uh, there's yeah. Ash. So there's Ash. Understandable. Hello? Hello. Yeah, I hear you. So Okay. Do you let the so guy get close Ash. to you or do you do something? I as I'm slowly getting closer together, I get my no, I reach down towards one of the things, one towards of the one of the guns, if possible. Also, it's worth mentioning that Arthur brought your suit down with him. Uh, you reach down and start to pick up the, the, gu the gun with your fog, but again, you feel yourself condense, and as the guy lands down right next to you, you see your hand form and grab the gun as you pick it up, and you realize you're just, you know, solid again. Greetings from the new world. So, now it's two naked men standing in front of each other. Insert saxophone oh. music, if you know what I'm saying. Listen, now Ollie, I'm gonna be quite honest here. We don't want to fly too close to the sun, but... Yeah. We don't want to TOS. God. Uh, but yeah, the guy, like, floats down and is in front of me, and he just sort of, like, looks at it, it's like... Who made you? You don't look. You don't look like what. Er, you don't look Aryan to me. Oh, I'm not an Aryan. I'm Charles. Ah, a Brit. So you've been stealing our technology then. Hmm. You underestimate us. And he's gonna pull back his hand, and you see the electricity pulse through his arm. He's basically gonna try and electric punch you. 
Okay. In the chest. Uh, so, uh, that is him doing that has it, since it, so, combat is officially initiated with it you being your turn, so he's using that as a reaction, which means he does that disadvantage. Uh, okay. what is, what are you gonna do for your official action of your turn? You get a minor and major action. So, if I remember correctly, minor action is dodge, right? Yes, dodging is, or, no, dodging is a major action. Okay. Or, wait, no, dodging is normally a reaction. Okay. But I'd say in this case, I'll allow it to be a minor action. Or, no, it needs a roll, so it's a major. Fair enough. Well, buddy, you may be able to use electricity, but I know the power, the power of friendship, and this gun I found! I'm going to shoot 762 by 39 at him. Get a hero point. Power of friendship, and this gun I found! Uh, you get uh, your a advantage or an additional die from being a World War One soldier. Uh. Okay. So. You you rolled a total of one success, and he rolled a total of three minus one from his disadvantage. So it's two to one, meaning he's going to succeed. Understandable. So. Boop, boop, boop. You. Pull up the gun, uh, and he fucking words. You you pull up the gun, fucking goats like throw like shoot him essentially as he punches you in the chest and blasts you back with electricity, which you feel arc through your body. As you go flying back and into the air a little bit, once you get like about like four yards away from, or once you're about five yards from him, you start to become gas again. So you go from a solid man what... into a puff of gas that sort of catches in the air. I don't have a heart anymore, but it still hurts. Um, you still have a minor action, and Arthur is here with you, and you can either leave him to his own devices or command him yourself. He's a smart cookie. Okay. Uh, so do you want to do anything with your minor action? Is there anything you think of you would want to do? Um, hmm, I was thinking about getting, uh, what's it called? About getting some new threads from the, from the soldiers, but nah, they're, they're kind of ash. Okay. I mean, you could spend hero points to change that. I'll let there be clothing there for you for one hero point. All right. Uh, also, I'm gonna throw out, you did not want to be in your pneumatic powered suits while this fucking- while this fucker is near you, to say the least. Oh yeah, considering, well, you know, I'm imagining you- um... You know the funny thing that happened in, um... Paul? Never mind, I forgot what that thing's called. It's... It isn't like that... The Rick and Morty one. I forget, never I don't mind. know what you're referring to, yeah. Sorry. It's basically like if you try to put a... Uh, if you try to put a metro... um, Not a metro. A passenger train into a subway tunnel. Yeah. <laughs> so. Uh, what happens? If you it in enough, it'll, like, it'll go in, but, you know, it's mm -hmm. not good for either thing. Can I say a dumb thought that just ran through my head? For it. Whenever, whenever you turn from a solid, solid human to gas. <laughs> insert Transformers sound effect. I'm Optimum Prime. Uh, but yeah. Anyway, so you got fucking blasted back. Arthur is gonna dig through his bag, pull out wire cutters, and just start cutting his way through the fence. Um. And that, that's going to be his turn. So now it's the electric guy's turn. He's going to basically fly back towards your cloud of gas and try and punch you again. Going to flatten out with the center being inside the inside the clothes, which I put in hero points. All right. So you're going to try and go into clothing. Yes. 
And like, are you trying to dodge with that, or...? Like, I'm basically, if possible, I'm going to basically be just, like, flat on the ground when I material. That's why it's in the middle. Okay. So... Alright, I'm, I'm rolling for your dodge, and for his attack. Uh, you got... Yeah, just letting you know, you got one, uh, dice break. If you wanted to change that. Hmm. Because you got, uh, two successes, one if the dice break takes effect. Well, he got a total of three successes. You know what? I'd like to, I'd like to do a funny roll. What do you mean? No, not a funny roll. A funny dice thing. Let's do the funny dice. Spend a hero point to get rid of the d dice break. Yeah. All right. So now it's two versus three. He's still winning, but now he's not winning by as much. Indeed. Uh, so... You start, like... And when you got knocked back, you sort of became, like, a puff of gas in the air, which he fires towards, and you sort of, like, dodge... Like, you start to drift downward below him, and he sort of, like, flies right by you as you become human underneath him and drop down. And then as you drop out of the field of his influence, you become gas again, go into the clothing. But then he switched from an uppercut to basically a drop down slam. And you materialize in the clothing just in time for him to fucking like slam slam down into you and like zap your chest and you're like like get electrocuted on the ground a little bit. Just imagining I'm like dodging. <laughs> this is not good. It's not going well. Uh, so now it's yours and Arthur's turn with the guy on top of you. Uh, Arthur, unless you want to influence his actions, or if he changes it based off what you do, his plan is to basically run towards the electric man, and fucking reaching through his bag, pull, uh, or out of it, he's gonna run towards the guy, and out of his bag, pull a fucking collapsible javelin, a metal javelin, uncollapse it, and punk, like, stab the guy with a javelin. Don't have silent all in there. What? You don't happen to have some orange slices. Orange slices? So you're cutting out a little bit. <laughs> Here we go. Move closer. So you said you don't happen to have some orange slices in there. Yeah. Get a hero point. Uh. Are you? Are you gonna, what do you do as, like, your minor and major action for your turn? Okay. Ooh, hold on, someone just one. entered my room. Sorry for that interruption. Hello? Hello. Uh, yes. So, uh, what were you gonna do as your minor and major action? I'm going to pat myself down. I'm like... Okay, I'm here. Okay. I'm I materialized. Did... Uh, and like I said, the other guy hasn't done his action. Like, I'm telling you what his action is planned to be. Because the two of you are on a team, which basically means, like, you know, open communication of what each of you is going to do, if you get what I mean. Mm -hmm. Uh, so. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so what's your plan? Sorry, go I ahead. I think I'm going to... Let's think. Yeah, I'm going to do a funny. And get the... Um, can I check myself over to see what I have on me? I mean, you got the gun and clothes. <laughs> and a body. I'm just gonna tap, tap, tap. Try and get some of the dust out. Feels weird, you're, you know. You're laying on the ground with the, the electric dude on top of you at this moment. Oh yeah. Still, you can you can never be a bit too careful, or you can never be too careful. Unless you're describing what you will do after he stabs the guy, if he can. No, oh, wait. Never mind. Who could do? Could do. I'm going to do a. I'm going to actually, if I can. Um. Do I have a gun? Like a gun on me? Yeah, you have the gun that you'd grabbed. Okay. I was on one, but yes. 
Sorry, what? You, oh. you, you, like, went robot there for a second? Sorry. I was thinking, like, I was wondering if I also have a different one, like a pistol or something. Uh, you did on your suit, which you floated out of. I'm gonna reach for where it normally is. And say, right, let's see if the Russians won't disappoint me. Mm -hmm. And try and use it again. Alright. Uh, so, whose attack do you want to have trigger first? Yours or Arthur's? I'll have Arthur. He's... He's a funny dude. Okay. I trust him. So, on one side we got one success, and on the other side we got negative one success. Oh boy. As Arthur runs towards the guy drawing the javelin out, and it basically like hooks on his bag, because like the collapsible javelin hooks on the inside of his bag, and he throws it, and it just pulls his bag off him. And, like throws it, and then it's like thuds down on the ground, he's like, oh. But the advantage that gives you is now because, like, basically the, the electric guy looks over at Arthur and blinks and is at a disadvantage because this is the second attack he's reacting to in this turn. He's mildly distracted by Arthur's buffoonery. Uh, so, wait. Sorry, okay. were you going to say something? Oh, um, wait, never mind. You didn't roll yet. Yeah, I'm rolling yours. So, the he got three successes and a crashing f or a break, uh, dice break. You got three successes and a dice break. So it's either a draw or you could win by one by 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 getting rid of the dice break for a hero point. Well, fella, considering that what the number of hero points I have are actually no, it's yeah, I'll I'll live on the edge. I'll spend. Spend one point. Yes. All right. So you fucking. Uh, he like looks over at Arthur, sort of look like, look really from like I was just like a brief pause as all of you like. As you guys just look at what just happened, and then you just like, hope the Russians don't fail me now. Bring up the gun and fucking unload a bunch of shots into this guy's chest, and like knock him back off you. And he just like falls down on his back. And I imagine you, like, get up and dust yourself off then. Mm-hmm. Right, well, that was awkward. Uh, right. Hmm. Still, I've yet to see a man who can get up from several gunshots to the chest. And then with that, you see the gu the gun- the guns- or the, the- the bullets go shooting out of the guy's body with little trails of electricity as he starts to sit up. Okay, scratch that. I have seen that now. Always new avenues of life. Uh, and he's gonna just basically go like, he's basically gonna Goku yell with anger and fly at you to try and then like grapple you while electricity crackles off his body. All right, all right. So what do you do? Just remember, remember what happened. What are you gonna and do in I'm response going to? The fight pose, gonna like classical wrestler type thing from my training. Like, I I need to remember close quarters combat trench training. I'm dodging out of the way. Okay, you're gonna dodge. I thought you were gonna say you were gonna like meet his grapple and sort of like hold like hold in place against him. But if you're dodging, mm, all right. it's, a built man. it's a built man. Yeah. So. On one side, we got three successes. On the other side, we got five successes with one dice break. You're the five successes with one dice break. Uh, let's go. Uh, so are you okay with it just being four successes? Yes, I'm fine with that. Uh, well, I mean, it's a dodge anyway, so... He fucking goes flying at you, you just fucking roll out of the way, and he's sort of like... Like, you know, that slow, like, flow up and turn has you, like, to face you, and you feel yourself like become mist again with just clothing and gun whipping around in your cloud. Very nice, very nice. Hmm. So, hang on. Are we gonna trust that you keep turning into, or uh, turning back and forth between your old self and 
miss you? Well, I thought that we could figure this out later, considering, well, I do sort of emotion towards the guy. Right, right, we'll figure it out later. Hmm. Surely an interesting topic, though. Uh, so, what do you do now? Hmm. Now it's your turn. So, this fella, this guy, this boo, right? Mm hmm We're outside. Mm -hmm. Around this, are there, like, capacitors or something, like, all the electricity capacitors got kaboomied by the lightning storm. Hmm. See. Which still is circling overhead. Say, um, Arthur, do you happen to have a battery in there? A battery in there. Hmm. Ah, uh, I believe I do. Why? Um, let's hope it's enough for this man. Huh, right, car battery it is. And he's gonna start digging through his bag and hand you a car battery. Perfect. You can try and catch this guy in a car battery like a fucking Ghostbusters trap. Listen. I'm not saying that I'm not doing that. Okay. He, he is just a dude. He's not pure electricity. His veins are just turning and like, glowing and then he's shooting electricity out. Oh, yeah. Well, a dude with a big old fucking purple orb trapped in his chest. Indeed. There and for you, know you to ponder. Sorry, what was that? And you know what we do with big purple orbs in the middle of bad guy's chest. You ponder them. Exactly. I pondered, and I pondered, and ponder I did. And there's only one conclusion I came up with. Which just so happens to be Arthur's. Which is? It must be his weak spot. Mm hmm So, alright, uh, what, you gonna, like, throw the car battery at his chest? I'm assuming we have jumper cables alongside this battery. Yes. Well, I'm going to get ready. I'm going to be... I'm going to be like, Come on, man! Put your dicks! And do the boxing pose, if I can. While holding to- like, God, wait, so are you- Well, wait, you're a floating cloud of air right now. Oh, yeah. Different things holding the- <laughs> Just in a rolling- Sorry, you're cutting in and out again. Okay, the two different, um, cables. Um, just circling around in the mist, in okay. a rolling motion. Good. Actually, I like the idea of you take, like, you basically form the fucking, uh, battery and wires to do the, like, put your dukes up movement. Yeah. So, uh, it's your turn, so are you gonna go and basically try and, like, jumper cable his nipples? I was going for the chest, but okay, yeah. I'm, I'm joking, I meant, like, the orb. Orb. You He's know. gonna attempt a counterattack. A. Hey. Uh, so you got three successes in a break, and he got two successes in a break. So you're winning by one currently, it could- it could be winning by two. You know what? Thirteen ain't a number on, so I'm going for- going for two. Okay. Boop boop. So fucking... Uh... You go flying towards him with the jumper cables, and like, ha like you propel yourself forward as gas as he flies towards you. And once he gets close enough, you you become just a normal dude flying toward him. But then you realize the wind is still whipping around you the way you expect it to. Uh, so you still have you know your your windy boy powers, and you fucking like. He's basically, like, flying towards you, ready to punch again, and you, like, using your wind powers, curl under the punch and bring the jump jumper cables to the size of the orb, which you realize now is metal, so when the two jumper cables touch it, 
a spark of electricity runs between them, because the battery was in fact charged, and through his body, and the battery basically fucking bursts, like, you know, the car battery, like, bursts, uh, like, explodes on your back, uh, and, or, like, hanging behind your back, and the ch the fucking orb starts crackling with electricity, and the guy, like, he, like, yells out in pain as he fucking fought, like, falls down, and is, like, holding the chest, and you see it's all, like, cracked up a little bit. That, like, you basically ran put a crack in the orb. E. Crack cocaine. So, ye. Uh. Mm -hmm. And Arthur Stern is basically getting you the fucking... Oh, you know what? He still has an attack, I just realized. That, that would have definitely been a minor action getting it out. So, he's just gonna fucking... After seeing what happens, uh, he's gonna realize, like, oh, the orb's weak, and shoot the man in the orb with his gun. Do you mind if I say something? Go ahead. Once we, once it happens. Oh, all right. Hang on. Hang on. Doing rolls. Oh no. Oh wait. Oh wait. Maybe not. Oh no. Ooh. Oh, it's a fucking draw. Ooh. So how do I want to define a draw in this scenario? Uh, well... Wait, it's not a draw! It's not a draw because that's his second- This is the villain's second reaction to an attack, meaning it's at one disadvantage, meaning Arthur wins by one. Let's go! Because he's already- because the villain was already attacked one time. So Arthur just fucking draws his gun, shoots the guy in the chest, and like, you know, the, the bullet sort of ricochets off the orb, chipping off another chunk of it. Hello? Hello? What were you gonna say, Quip? Funny Quip? Say, you don't happen to have a chisel in there, do you? Why, yes I do! Uh, meanwhile, it's the villain's turn. Listen, Arthur's been at this shit since World War One. he's prepared! My man is out here, let's go. So, the villain is f focused on you as the other, uh, powered individual. And he looks at him, he's like, you think you can, you think that you can win this war by copying what we have achieved? The Reich shall reign supreme! And he's gonna fly at you with electricity and try and punch you with an electric punch again. I've created a villain that will be, un that everybody can universally agree is a bad guy. Right? Everyone... Everyone will agree that the Nazi is a villain, right? Nobody out there supports this character, right? Right. Anyway. Looks- I'm just imagining looking at the camera, the rock eyebrow. <laughs> Insert vine boom. <laughs> so what do, you, what do you do? Um... Has a reaction to him trying to punch you? You do not yet have no the chisel. One? I do not yet have the chisel. No. Okay. Um, I'm going to look over and... Oh. oh. This is straight. Like, oh. I, I was not expecting that. What? And tried my best to, like... Oh, so like, you're not expecting him to punch you. Sorry, go ahead, sorry. No, that's it. Try your best to what? Like a step out of the way. Oh, just dodge. Over, we'll just... Hmm? <laughs> I feel dumb. Uh, he flies... Overall, I'm just... Hmm? Oh, no. Sorry, sorry. Go ahead. No, it's good. It's uh... like, overall, oh no, this isn't good. And try to do my best, even if it's late. So... Because it is. You step to the side, he flies towards you with the punch, and you... Narrowly dodge away from it as he's like soars past you again. Hmm. And again, he gets just far enough away that you become a gas cloud again. And as your turn begins, uh, Arthur's gonna fucking throw the chisel into your cloud. When are you going to learn that doing the. Thank you, Arthur. 
that doing the same things over and over again aren't going to work. Get a hero point. Uh, alright. So, now you get a minor action and a major action, and Arthur still has a major, because giving you the chisel was his minor. What do you do? I... Okay. I'm going to... Fr I'm going to go, um, and throw myself up there. I mean, I'm going to throw the gun. And I'm just, like, throwing it at him in the general direction. So you're gonna throw your gun at the bad guy? Yes. Is, is that all? And I'm going to hit him with the chisel. Okay, so you're gonna throw the gun, fly towards him, and try and, like, chisel him in the heart? Yes. Okay. Uh, Arthur's gonna offer suppressing fire. Meanwhile... Hey. To the comment you made, the villain's gonna go, I suppose you're right. And he's going to basically start channeling electricity around himself, basically trying to create, like, you know, turn himself, has his reaction, turn himself into sort of a, the center of a plasma ball of sorts, firing off electricity in all directions. Uh, that is a counter attack, but I'm going to roll for Arthur first, where basically Arthur's bullets are gonna serve as a distraction for the electricity, potentially. Uh, bup, 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 bup. So, a draw. So, Arthur's bullets all go flying up towards the bad guy, and, like, all of his electricity starts firing off, basically deflecting those away. Meanwhile, you hurl yourself forward with the chisel, and the bad guy rolls really fucking well. It's two to four. Him winning. Oh boy. Uh. So, and he's still. Oh wait. Minus an additional one because. Sorry, it's two to three him winning because I didn't take away one of the points I was supposed to take away. Okay. Uh, so he fought. You go flying towards him and, like, you feel the electricity hit the chisel in your hand. Like, as you go towards him, you become human. The electricity arcs down, hits the chisel in your hand. You feel the electricity arc towards you and sort of throw off your aim as you're flying towards him. Uh, and you, you, like, you lose your trajectory you were trying to get and, like, get thrown off as you're flying through the air, not used to propelling your human body with your wind. And he basically arcs you with electricity and blasts you back again. And so now you, like, you go flying back a little bit, floating in the air as well, and become a cloud of gas with the clothing and the chisel floating in it again. I should stop giving the bad guys ideas. It's almost as if giving advice to the people trying to kill you is not a good idea. It seemed good at the moment. Hindsight went into how does giving advice to the man who can literally control lightning seem like a good idea? Well, I don't know, he seems stupid. I resent that comment. Uh, and he's basically gonna spend his entire turn charging a spirit bomb of electricity over his head. Oof. We're having straight up anime fights here, my bro. <laughs> Two of you flying in the air, you having whipping wind around you, him crackling electricity. Bro, this actually do be an anime fight. Arthur down below with all of his random knickknacks just firing at the guy. Heck yeah. So what do you do? Hmm. So what can I do? Uh, you have minor action to major action. Arthur has a minor and major. That man can do that. Let what? And I'm going to... If that man can do lightning things, I'm going to see what I can do. Because oh, yeah. he said we were part of the same experiments. And well, I think... That's what he thinks, because he's just assuming that you are the, like... At first he thought he was- you were another German, then he thought, oh, you're the British trying to create a thing like me. So, well, what was your theory gonna be? 
maybe he has some merit. And I'm going to... How high is... How high is what? How high is this man in there? Uh, you guys are, like, uh, floating a couple yards above the ground. Like, you know, up higher than the rooftop mm -hmm. of the building. I'm going to go towards the Tesla Tower. So you're going to fly towards the knocked over Tesla Tower? Yes. Okay. Uh, if you look, the top of the Tesla Tower is broken, by the way. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> so you, you fly over and, oh, you know, it's, it's a destroyed Tesla Tower. Question. Is there some fence around? There's chain link fence all over. Arthur, I might have a plan. Can you buy me some time for a moment? I, uh, he looks at the giant ball of electricity forming. I can try! Well, you better try hard. And I'm going to try my best to patch up the top of the Tesla Tower. Because you okay. know how the top Okay, you're going to try and fix you know, the Tesla Tower. I'm thinking, I'm thinking it's like the big, it has the same type of like, material as the net yeah that's a clever idea um i'm gonna give you a roll and i'm gonna say it's gonna be a level four challenge what are you gonna do or like what are you the, 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 the words do you want to spend hero points to increase your odds yes how many I'd like to do the funny two. Actually, you know what? Funny three. By three advantage dice? All right. Okay. Meanwhile, while you're doing that, uh, fucking... Arthur's basically gonna try and shoot the guy a few times. Okay. Uh... Dot, dot, dot. Okay, holy fuck. Uh, so Arthur goes digging through his bag for a moment, and he pulls out a fucking, like, he pulls out a rifle that he had brought along. Like, like not like a, like, rifle, you know, like, like a military rifle. Mm -hmm. And, um, hold on, I just rest, I need to... Okay. He just starts unloading on the dude. Four successes. Hey. Hey, like, the, he fills the guy with bullets. He basically just floats there and takes it. A few of them hitting the, the orb and breaking it up a little. Um. And fucking. Words. Words. I can use them. In my mouth. <laughs> As... Don't worry, it's a. It's up in your headspace. You know what to do. As you fucking... Uh, you, you, like, use the wind to start ripping up the fence and stuff around you. Sort of extending your wind beyond where you normally do for strength. Like, because normally you're, like, you know, just windy enough to pick up small objects and stuff around you. You're basically trying to do directed hurricane force wind right now. Is you force the fence up out of the ground and starts wrapping around the coil, and you basically like rebuild the top of the Tesla coil as the villain's turn rolls around, and he's mm -hmm. gonna try and hurl that giant ball of electricity at Arthur. You know the one he just spent uh, two turns building up. Mm -hmm. So what do, what do you do? Has a, a reaction or are? Arthur's gonna try and dodge. Mm -hmm. Uh, do you try and do anything as your reaction, or? No. You just gonna let him throw a giant doing. ball of electricity at your friend? Listen, listen. I don't know. Okay, it's not like yelling's going to do it. Actually, wait. I'm going to yell at him. You just built a tiny giant Tesla coil ball. I figured you were gonna do something with that. No, 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 no. I rebuilt the the coil. What? What'd you say? Yep. 
I oh. rebuilt the top of the Tesla coil. Yeah, the ball at the top of the Tesla coil. You you I rebuilt, rebuilt that. the ball. Yeah, I thought you were gonna. I figured you'd do something with that ball. You just gonna let this motherfucker spirit ball you bomb me for? Uh, all right. Okay. Do you know what this is? What is it? I Faraday cage. Yeah, you just built a Faraday. That's what I figured. I built a Faraday cage. Yeah. That you are holding off to the side, away from where Arthur is, and this guy's about to throw a giant ball of electricity at Arthur, not at you. Hmm. Hmm. You know, two things. There's there are two things. I'm sorry, Arthur. You're giving your life up for the cause. No. That's my boy. He's. I'm. I consider it. I consider it. It's a mad consider. I'm like, ah, damn it. And I throw it over towards him. So you th you <laughs> throw <laughs> down the Faraday cage like. Arthur runs, tries to jump, and you fucking hurl it as he hurls the electricity ball. And right as Arthur thinks he's going to get hit, the cage lands on him and the elect it diverts all of the electricity away. There we go. Now you've caged Arthur, but you saved Arthur. Yes. Don't worry. It's, it's like that thing where it's like, save? Like, will you save her? Or will you leave her to die in the zombie apocalypse? Yeah. Obviously, you leave her to die to be a baller SG and get become level ninety nine boss thug, right? Mafia City, play now on the App Store. Sponsored by Raid Shadow Mafia City Legends. Mafia City Square Legends. Squarespace. Wait, do I sound far away? Oh. Not too far away. We got, away we, got to me. we got Orma, Orma in chat. Hey. Do I sound far away? Uh oh. Hang on. Now I'm adjusting my entire setup slightly. One, you got Fair those enough. wonderful adjustment of the, eh, the stuff sounds. Is that better? Oh god, now I'm realizing I'm clipping way louder than you were. Oh, only when I speak up too much. Okay. If I look. Yeah. If I look directly at the mic right now, I am, like, unbelievably loud. But then when I turn my head to my more, like, down a little to face my screen, I'm nowhere near <laughs> as loud. That's funny. But I'm still a little loud. Is this better? Or? Ah, I shall respond in a moment. We'll just carry on with this volume, I guess. Yeah. Yay! Yay! Yeah. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. So... Fucking! This is the first recording with my new setup, so that 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 could very well have been a problem. <laughs> Fine, I get that. Uh, so fucking. Uh, also hearing. MP oh, okay. Uh, so fucking, you threw the Faraday cage down on him, and fucking the electricity diverted, and now it's yours and Arthur's turn. But Arthur really can't do jack shit. <laughs> Unless he wants to cut his way out with his wire cutters that he still has on him. Going to... Like, can I try and, like, lift it up and, like, turn it over? Yes, you can try to lift it up and turn it over. Right. I think this will be more of a Faraday bowl, if I'm being quite honest. So what, what do you want to, like, do with the cage? I'm going to live it. You're going to what? I... Stay in the middle. Oh, so you're gonna cl climb inside with Arthur? Yep. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah, you go in the Faraday cage. I'm gonna call that a minor action. Arthur looks like. I so what's the. Like you get out of Arthur. Uh, why? What are you. Well, planning? considering you're not. Well. Built quite special, like me and that fellow. Hmm. Wait, you're not gonna trap yourself in here with him, are you? Oh, please. I've been through worse. What's he going to do? Throw- use his sparklers against me? I'll think of a way out. Hmm. Hang on, he digs through his bag for a moment, and he hands you the fucking radio antenna from before. Here. If you need to 
divert, this might help. Thanks. And he also gives you a rubber kitchen glove with it. It's a bit snug. Do you have an XL, by any chance? I smile. I'm afraid I only brought medium. <laughs> he sort of like cocks his eyebrow and chuckles. Says, "You lift the bowl, and he like rolls away. Are you gonna? So what's your plan? Are you gonna like throw the bowl at the dude with you in it? I am going to. Yes, I'm going to throw the bowl. All right, he's gonna try and dodge it, obviously. Oh, three and three, each of you got a ten. Oh, each of you got another ten, so it's four and four. Five successes versus four successes. You, yeet, like, turn into the gas cloud, yeet the, ball, the big old ball up, flying towards it as a glass cloud, and as you start to get closer, you feel yourself condense down, and then you, you, Scoop him into the ball with you, and you both fall down inside the Faraday cage you built. And he sort of, like, turns and looks to you. I don't know who you are, or why you're here, but you will not defeat the, the Reich. Sphinx has made us too far too strong. Oh, well... I better get thinking about a way to get back. Because, from what I know, I think the British did this one a bit... Eh, I think the British did this a bit better. And I'm going to try and... Um, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? Funny thing, funny thing. Oh, well, actually, you already spent your minor and made your action, which means it's his yes. turn. It is his turn. But I'm, I'm thinking to myself, what am I going to do? He's gonna try and just start hurling a big old ball of electricity at you, like, like you know, like, trying to go kablooey with a large amount of electricity thrown at you. You know, all, all out fucking uh, what's the line? Was it what's the? I was gonna quote Star Wars, but I don't remember the line that he makes when he shoots the the lightning at uh. Never mind. Unlimited power. Yes, there's unlimited power. He does that to you. Oh boy, I think we know where this is going. What are you gonna do? Hmm. So both in this cave. What? Oh wait, no. I threw it up. Is what in the cage? Sorry. No, he's in that cage. You and him are in the cage. Okay, good. Ooh. So we're both in that cage. Yes. You know what? He's thinking to himself. I really didn't think. <laughs> and he's just going to like. Um. I let, I think I know what I'm going to do. What I'm do going to. Um. Think then, think, think then, and I'm going to jump towards the like wall. Try to time the with it like. Coming at me. So wait, you're gonna try and jump towards the Oh Oh mm. Okay. I see what you're gonna try and jump towards the wall and let the electricity divert around you kind of. Right? Kind of. You also have your radio antenna keep keep in mind. So that helps. A hey. So with a difference of two to three, you dive towards the fence, like slam, like slam yourself against it, and you hear the sound of the crackling the electricity, closing your eyes. And as you open, you see it's all arcing around you and across the radio antenna in your hand and sticking it to all the metal that would much rather be on than you. Looks us. Uh, you know, he fires off a load of electricity. And he's going to be holding that beam of electricity, like, walking towards you. You will not succeed. I am stronger than you. I am a god. I am Zeus. And he, like, 
starts like focusing even more energy around you, but it's all just jumping around across the Faraday cage. Is this working? This is working. I hope this is working. I open my eyes. Uh, so it's your turn. As he's throwing the electricity around, you know you got. Do you still have the chisel on you? We never said you I dropped it. Did I drop it? You never. We never said it. So you've got like a chisel, a radio antenna, and your fucking, you know, you uh Russian soldier uniform that you stole. Hmm. Like a point and click adventure inventory. So what can I use? Some point and click adventure mm -hmm. um logic. Moon use a logic. knife. Use the knife on the cage. Hmm, that won't work. Use the knife. You use the knife. Use a chisel on the antenna. Hmm, that won't work. Lick, <laughs> lick the Zeus. Hmm, that will work. <laughs> I don't. Yeah, act, use lick Zeus. I don't want to kiss the man unless <laughs> he is I need naked. To use, okay, I need to get hit twice intentionally. Then I need to get top of the screen. Then I get the rope. So it gets snagged on the rope. And I could go around him. Perfect. <laughs> I'm fucking dumb old I'm boy. Click adventures. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna knife him. I'm gonna knife a man. You think he's gonna, gonna get up and try and like stab him with the fucking Wait a second. He's coming towards me, Kurt. Yes. Right? I'm going to do the funny thing. And I'm going to take this, take it out, and put it towards the, um, and try and stick it towards his chest. The chisel? When he gets close, you can try yeah. and chisel his chest? Yes. I'm about to, dang it, I'm about to do the funny thing. Wait. What's the funny thing? I'm going to reverse Excalibur him. Or, yeah, technically. Uh, so, <sighs> he rolled no successes, and you rolled two successes with two dice breaks. So, no, I didn't. I I rolled two six. I rolled I rolled two successes. He he starts to step towards you. Yeah, you spent the hero points, and he... Yeah, I'd, uh, I rolled two successes. <laughs> As he steps towards you, you fucking, like, when he gets close, throw yourself forward and drive the chisel into the, his chest, and he sort of, like, stumbles back, holding it. <sighs> and you see it's all, like, cracked up and starting to break. <sighs> you just won't give up, will you? You don't understand. I am superior! I am genetically above a peon like you! And I had the advanced science of the Reich to create me! Who made you? What, some backwater British farmer? Ah! Uh, arm, he's a chiseled man! Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> well... I hate to inform you, but the same people who made you. <laughs> Wink. And he's gonna fuck it. He, he's now, I imagine you guys are doing like the walk in a circle looking at each other thing. Yes. What is that supposed to mean? Why are you here? Where are we? Answer my questions. Don't you remember what I said to you? Future, my friend. What do you mean, future? It makes no sense. Sounds you're a man out of time like me. Though, not with a charm. Oh, you're certainly a man out of time. And with that, he's gonna try and, once again, blast you with electricity. Ah, uh, yes. Crap, I'm getting a call, excuse me. Uh-oh. This might... This is an important number, I'm very sorry. Oh. How's everyone doing, huh? 
you all, you all been having a, a good time? I wonder if future Brian will remember to edit this out in the YouTube version. I'm willing to bet no. Ahem. Hey, Tyrant King. Alright, as everyone been doing? Is the future Brian? I edit sometimes. Mostly to remove things that, uh, y you, you tell me to remove arm. Um. Yeah. How, how, how y'all been enjoying this? this you been, you been, y'all been, y'all been having fun? Look, fella. <gasps> He's back. Hello. Hey. Uh, right. So... Uh, words. What was happening? Right, he tried to blast you with a la hair. What do you do as a reaction? Hmm, okay. I'm going to go and uh, do his action. Going mm. what? I'm thinking. Um, trapped in a cage with him. What can I do? You can dodge, I'm try you can and... Sorry, go ahead. I think I'm going to... Let's, let's think. So I have this. I'm going to... This might be a big brain moment. This might be a big brain moment. Let's try and... Let's try and get, grab the thing. Grab the thing? Yes. Wait for the, the time. The orb? Yes. That's embedded in his chest? All right. Let's try and grab the orb. I'm going to count that as a counterattack, meaning it's done with one degree of disadvantage. Right. Which is A-OK, -okay, because you just rolled five successes and he rolled negative one. Let's go! So he starts charging up his electricity, like, all, and it starts, like, arcing across the Faraday cage and around you guys as you run for it and grab the orb and start pulling it. And as the electricity is, like, he's pushing electricity out of his body, and he basically gives you the leverage to pop the orb out of his body. Uh, and now you hold the wind orb. I mean, not the wind, the wind orb. You hold the, the, the black orb. And he sort of, like, stumbles back, and he's totally fine. Like, there's a there's a hole in his chest, but you notice, like, the hole basically, like, his body starts to arc electricity out across the hole and seal it back up, and it almost looked like he was energy inside when you removed it. And they get, the energy's, like, turning into flesh and all of that, and he, like, looks up to you. <sighs> that was starting to hurt. Well... What are you gonna do now, big guy? Uh, it's worth mentioning this thing is like a little bit smaller than a basketball. This cracked up orb that has a chisel stuck in it. I like to think you're holding <laughs> it by the chisel. I th I'd like to think so too. Well, a man's made up from the sum of his parts, one would say. And if I'm being quiet, you're not going to be half the man you used to be. I'm going to try and smack against the chisel to in half. Just like, punt it at the ground. Well, as you get ready to do that, you know what happens? Oh boy, oh the boy. The whole Faraday cage starts to fucking roll. Has fucking... <laughs> Arthur, who's been doing things outside, drives a jeep into it. That you don't even know where the fuck that, they, or not Jeep, but you know, like a, sort of a, a Russian World War, or Cold War era ATV, like for the snow. He drives oh, yeah. it into it, freeing you guys, and you notice a bunch of dead Russians. Uh, all of them with like forks and knives and bullet holes and the javelin and shit all just like stuck in them as you realize while well, you've been in here doing this he's been fighting every single Russian soldier that hadn't left the bunker yet I assume you borrowed that hmm. 
Yeah, they had a, they had a secret garage in the side of the building. You wanna hop in? I'm gonna hop in. Well, I think I'm taking this for myself, so so I'll bid you a farewell and um, if I remember my German correctly, I'll fit to sein. As you drive away, the guy's looking like like baffled for a moment. Has the way he had driven, he sort of basically propped up the Faraday cage. Uh, and as he backs out, it drops back down. <laughs> and you guys, you know, back away. It's like, I'm just imagining, you know how you get a spider? Like, in a cup? Yeah, it's like that. I'm the paper. Like, he's the paper! Uh, and I'm that... To the build. We cut to 2022... Ukra uh, see, er, secret research base in northern Ukraine. The two, you and Arthur, in, in modern times, standing outside that Faraday cage that you left behind. But it's, uh, knocked over. And, uh, like, you know, Arthur's looking at it's like, huh. He, he's, he's, like, kneeled over looking, and he's like, when the, re when the recovery team showed up, the Faraday cage was still down, but he was nowhere to be found. Reports Dang. said that there was a burst of electricity when they opened the cage, but nothing else. What do you think happened to the guy? Well... Whatever happened, it isn't my problem. Oh, it's all- or, and, uh... You hear over- or you suddenly hear on the radio... Odds are he didn't have the same stability as you did, uh, as you did, Flux. It's worth mentioning both of you basically have, like, cameras mounted on your he heads. In your eyes, it's, uh, the, 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 what's her name? Well, Mills. Mills, yes. It's Mills talking. If our, if our, if our studies were correct, that orb was what was holding them together. Same way that we can make you whole with the same material. Uh, suppose I should thank the chap for something. But I won't. Hmm. But now the question is why we why we've been sensing so much increase to uh, increasing electromagnetic electromagnetic energy in the space after all these years. Maybe he's finally pulling himself back together again. Like that uh, guy from that old comic book. What's it called? Doc- Doctor... Doctor Howitzer? No, that's not it. You know who I'm talking about. Doesn't matter. But... Professor Peculiar? Or... No, that's a wrong one. Stay focused, you two. You're here to figure out why there's more electrical energy. This base should have been abandoned years ago. It is surreal being back here after... What has it been? 50 years? Suppose it has. Time gets weird when, when you're age, let's say. He sort of nudges you. Oh, well, time flies when you have a friend to spend it with. <laughs> I suppose so. He starts... He sets down his bag and starts digging in it. And he... Pulls out, like, a thing that has, like, an old radio antenna on it, all wired up to, an like, a weird-looking device. He's basically moving it around, and the device is clicking like a Geiger counter. There is certainly a weirdly large amount of electricity in the air here. <laughs> if you get me a carpet, I bet I could rub my feet on it, and I'd have that guy's powers. What do you call himself back then again? Zeus, was it? Um, something like that. Some Norse man? Eh. Hmm. Well, he definitely had the hubris of the, of the man himself. Hmm. I suppose that's true. He's just sort of like, look, like, you know, walking around with it. Hang on. 
I'm getting more sense from this direction. He starts walking along, like, holding it out. And as he goes over, you, like, eventually he kneels down and is like, Hello, what do we have here? And you see the old car battery that you had left behind. And he kneels down, like, he, as he points the thing to it, the, the device goes fucking wild. You don't think, and he sort of looks to you with, like, a cocked eyebrow. Kind of prod it with, like, I kind of prod it with my foot. And then a little bit of electricity arcs between the fucking battery and the antenna, and a little face forms in it. <laughs> Where am I? What is... You? I will kill you! <gasps> My head! Something's not right! And then he lifts the antenna out of the way and it whoop, goes back into the battery. <laughs> You're kidding me. He picks up the battery. I guess we found the source of our disturbance. Must have jumped into this when they lifted that fair when the recovery team lifted that Faraday cage all those years ago. Anybody want a god battery? Hmm. Let's just keep this thing away from any metal, huh? I wouldn't have to agree with that statement. Mills, we found ourselves—we so found ourselves a little, uh, or a little gremlin, hiding inside a bat, or hiding inside a car ba a car battery. Why don't you take us back, Mills? You there? And with that, we fade over to, you know, back to the base in France. And she's looking at the alert screen, like, fucking jaw dropped in awe. As we see Discordant C City and what appears to be a giant monster standing outside of it with a live news report. And, uh, that's going to be that session ended. Bro, that's pretty. And when, when I say giant, I mean, like, a kaiju. Look at that. So, so, yeah. That's, uh, that's the end of session. <laughs> uh, what do what, 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 what you think? What do you think, Ricky? Vicky Bro, I and audience. I think it was nice. Me. Got that fun. Teasers for future sessions. Mahaha. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, I, I I hope everyone's been enjoying this stuff, you know. This this was uh more more of Agent Flux, the second episode of him. Of course there's Always more more here infinite stuff to check out on the channel that I'm sure is going to be linking right around now. A whole playlist of videos arranged in a recommended viewing order. Uh come come back come back next week, YouTube peeps for more of it, I guess. <laughs> Yay. Yay. Anyway, I've I've been Brian, you can call me all Eric. I've been Vicus. You can call me Vicus. Yay! And we'll see y'all later. Ta-ta! Mm -hmm.